plenty of shortages since the pandemic. Computer chips, baby formula. But now the tap is running dry for a Texas favorite, beer. It's coming during the worst possible time, Oktoberfest. And 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski takes us to a local brewery for a first-hand look. Breweries across the country, supply chain issues are on tap. Here at Waco Ale Company, it means higher prices. Most of our suppliers have been good about letting us know when that's going to happen. Owner Brett Stewart opened Waco Ale three years ago. In the last year, watching the cost of grain steadily rise. You know, we use uh, many, many pounds of grain um, per batch, and so even a little bit of an increase really affects the overall cost. Waco Ale is doing its best to pass off as little of that cost as possible onto its customers. We're going to try to find ways other ways in different areas of our business to where we might be able to cut costs. The National Brewers Association says the price of malt is up more than 10 percent from 2020. But there's another shortage looming. CO2 essential to the brewing process. Waco Ale isn't having issues yet, but Stewart is already thinking ahead. Uh, just in case the truck doesn't come overnight and fill up our big tank, we've got backups. Supply chain expert at Baylor University, Pedro Reyes, says shortages across the board aren't going anywhere and could come in waves for several more years. By the time we get back to a normalcy, we would have forgotten what that actually looked like. You know, we, we're, we're going to be too, we're going to be happy in, with what we have. But the supply chain problems aren't overflowing just yet. They're rolling with the punches at Waco Ale. You just always have to be ready for things to change and be able to adapt on the go. In Waco, Andrew Lamparski, 25 News.